Guys, I just exercised for like 30 minutes. I'm so hungry. I'm on the verge of hunger. I'm about to have like a Sally Field meltdown. <laughs> she has the best meltdowns, what a queen. I am super hungry and super excited because today, for the first time ever, I am trying the Halal Guys. So if you haven't heard of um, Halal Guys, basically, they serve things like uh, euros and bowls and hummus and baba ganoush and uh, baklava. I'm not exactly sure which cuisine this is because um, I read on Wikipedia <laughs> the source of accuracy. Is that dog food? One second. Yeah, so um, I read on Wikipedia that um, Halal Guys is basically like a melting pot of a couple different cuisines, but I do know that the owners are from Egypt um, and they started this business in New York. So that's super cool. Um, let's talk about what I got, guys. I got the beef gyro sandwich, falafel, french fries, a chicken platter, which is like a bowl kind of, um, a chocolate chip cookie, baklava, hummus, a chicken sandwich, and baba ganoush. I'm gonna taste test everything, give you my honest opinion, rate it all from one to 10, but I am not an expert on these dishes. Um, this food is not from my culture. I just love trying food from other people's cultures while at the same time being respectful, as we all should be. It's very important, for real. And so I'm not gonna be like, this is the best gyro meat ever made because I haven't tried that many euros, <laughs> but I am gonna let you know if I personally like it or if I don't, I'm gonna be honest, of course. I've always wanted to try this, like for months. It has been on my to-do list. So, ah! let's open up the food. Oh, by the way, guys, subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Takeout, for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests. It's a great time here. I love trying new things. Oh, so here's the fries. Adorable packaging, like obsessed. It's like McDonald's, but like fancier, you know? Those look good, crinkle cut, we love that. Okay, and then I think this is the um, baklava. I have never had real baklava, so I'm very pumped to try this. It's like a crunchy dessert, I think, right? Ooh, it's in like a syrup. Very nice, let's smell it. Ooh, it smells like, like a donut. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's the falafel now. I had falafel one time. I was like a kid and I didn't like it, of course, because I was a kid. <laughs> but now my palate has expanded so much doing these taste tests. I love so many cuisines, so I hope that I love falafel now. Let's see. There it is. I think it's like um, fried chickpea dough, correct? Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a hush puppy. And we love hush puppies. And then we have a cookie, because why not? It was on the menu. I was like, let me try their cookie. Adorable. Looks a little overcooked to be honest, but we'll see. And then we have, okay, so this is the baba ganoush. I've never had a baba ganoush. It smells kind of like a jalapeno, but like a non-spicy one. Interesting. So baba ganoush, I think, is an eggplant-based dip, correct? And now this must be the hummus. I love hummus so much. Ooh, it looks very creamy. It looks very fresh, actually. We love that. And then we have, I think, some pitas to go with um, the hummus and the baba ganoush. Ooh, ooh, very, like, floppy in a good way. It looks very appetizing. It smells good. It smells like garlic. Ah, I fall once again. It's fine. It's not one of my videos if my phone doesn't fall flat on its face. And now, this is, I think, the Euro sandwich. They call it a sandwich, which is so interesting to me. I love that. Ooh, wow. It's big. Wow. Did the tomato fall? Oh my goodness. That is big. It's very wide. <laughs> oh my gosh, tomatoes are falling everywhere. Looks great. And then we have the chicken version. Ooh, that one smells very strong. I love that. It smells like fresh pollo. Yes. Okay. It looks very full too. These are very heavy. So we love that. And then last but not least, we have the um, platter, which is like a bowl. So it has rice. Um, it has chicken, some pita, some tomatoes. Oh, yeah. 
This is also very heavy. Um, the rice is like a gorgeous orange color. That is so pretty. I love that. And last but not least, we have some white sauce, which I think I've heard of it before, but I haven't tried it. It's like a garlicky mayo type thing, right? Maybe, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below, please. And then we have some um, hot sauce. Ooh, I love hot sauce. Okay, so everything looks literally fantastic. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna get my thumbnail and then we'll start feasting. Go eat. Okay, perfect. So first things first, I feel like we should try the dips, right? Like the hummus and the baba ganoush. Cause it's like an appetizer. Okay, let's get a piece of pita, it's so soft. That's the texture inside. Okay, let's try with the hummus first. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mmm, mm, this is a really good pita. It tastes so fresh and bouncy. It's an amazing, satisfying texture, and the flavor of it is very light, so it can take on the flavors of the sauce. Now, the hummus. Tastes so fresh. Super refreshing. I could eat this whole thing by itself with a spoon. I'm not even kidding you. Tastes kind of garlicky. Mmm. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. And the texture of the hummus is genuinely so creamy, not grainy whatsoever. Delectable. I'm giving the hummus a 10 out of 10. And the pita, 10 out of 10. Let me process. <laughs> Now let's try the baba ganoush. I've never had it in my life. I'm excited to try something completely brand new, okay? It's a very different texture um, than the hummus. It's almost like oatmeal-y. See? Let's see. Okay. So this is the issue. It is not bad whatsoever, but I personally hate olives so much. One of my least favorite foods ever. And for some reason, this baba ganoush tastes like an olive. So <laughs> it's nothing against the baba ganoush itself. It's my own taste. I just really don't like olives and it's giving very much olive, like strong olive. No. The texture is very nice. It's very light and airy, so we love that. I just can't do olive flavors, that's all. But the hummus is amazing! Mm. So, for me, I'm gonna have to give the baba ganoush a four out of 10. But if you like the flavor of olives, I think you'll love this, like legit love it. Let me get a Diet Coke. I'm thirsty. Okay. <coughs> oh my gosh. So that was a great start to the video. Um, let's move on to the fries before they get cold because fries get kind of crusty when they get old, right? Kind of waxy. So, let's see, I'm excited. Mmm. Mmm. First of all, the packaging just makes the fries look even more delicious for some reason, right? Second of all, they're actually delicious. Mmm. <laughs> I want ketchup though. I'm too lazy right now. But, mmm. First of all, they taste fresh. So we love that. They are pretty simple, but they have the perfect amount of salt, perfect texture. Mm. 
They don't taste like old oil. Like I said, super fresh. They're just great fries. Like great. Mmm. I can't stop. I'm giving the Halal Guys fries that rhymed. Dr. Seuss. A 9 out of 10. Mmm. Okay. So, next up, let's try the beef gyro. Ah! I'm so ready! Wait, that's chicken, sorry. Here it is. Okay, so this is what the meat looks like. It's like carved off gyro meat. Fantastic. And then we have lettuce, tomato. Now, I don't see tzatziki. Is there tzatziki on here? I'm like digging through my food. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't see um tzatziki. Maybe it's just not part of the vibe, right? This is different. Okay, there we go. Let's try it. Oh, and then I'll try it with the um, white sauce and the hot sauce afterwards, okay? Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Incredible. It's so tender. It has so much flavor, so many spices, but it's not too strong. Mmm. Now, I will say, I do think it needs a sauce, so I'm so glad they gave me some. White sauce and hot sauce. Because it is kind of dry, but the toppings taste very fresh, very crisp, and um, the pita, of course, tastes fantastic. So let's add some sauce now. The whole thing open. Oh my goodness. Is that ranch? It looks like ranch. Hold on. This is different than what um, I expected. Let's add some. Oh yeah. Okay. I hope it's good because I'm adding a lot. <laughs> okay. And then let's add some of this hot sauce. Where's the little tear thing? There it is. Okay. Oh, that, that looks thick. That looks like it's gonna be very hot. Wow, we love that. I love spicy things. But just a bit to start. I don't wanna make it too hot, you know? Okay, we have some sauce right there. Let's try it. Mmm! Mmm! Oh, this made it perk. The sauce made it. goodness. Mm. Okay. I have to slow down because I have a lot of things to eat still. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. So the hot sauce is genuinely hot, but that amount was perfect. Um, I had a great kind of chili flavor to it. Now, the white sauce was much more ranchy than I expected, and it tasted so good. Super refreshing, and it really just like moistened everything up and just added like another layer of flavor. Fantastic. With the sauces, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Without, a 7.5 because it was just so dry. But, guys, that is incredible. Okay, slow down, Jimmy. Okay. Next up, let's try the cookie. Something sweet, something light. A little snack break, kind of. Okay, let's break it open. It looks fresh, to be honest. Lots of chocolate in there. Mmm. 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 There's something different happening. Mmm. 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 
I want more. Okay, so that cookie looked mediocre. It's not. It's chewy. It has a lot of chocolate in it. It's almost like a whole layer like of chocolate in there. See it? Which makes it even chewier and more kind of ganache, if that makes sense. Like ganache, you know? But there's a caramel flavor in there. I don't know if it's coming from the cookie dough itself or the chocolate, but I taste caramel. And it's just adding another layer of deliciousness. So good. I am giving Halal Guys cookie a 10 out of 10. Fantastic. Delicious. This taste test so far has been amazing. Nothing. Okay. So next up, let's try the falafel. So pumped about this. There's a sauce with it. What is it? Kind of smells like um, tahini. Is that what it's called? It looks very nice, kind of liquidy. Let's first try it without the sauce and then with. I want to break it open. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, it's like a greenish color. Very pretty. Very like herby. Okay. Mmm. Let's try it with the sauce. Mmm. Sauce is good. Okay. So, I definitely like the falafel. I don't know if I love it. The flavor to me kind of tastes like stuffing. Like Thanksgiving stuffing. Is someone screaming? Did you hear that? That was scary. Goodness me. Anyways. Yeah, to me it has kind of like a stuffing flavor. Now the outside is very crispy, very nice, but the inside's texture is kind of nutty to me. Almost like a cashew texture, but like ground up. And I don't hate it, I'm just, I expected I think something fluffier because my basic mind thought it was like a hush puppy, but it's much more grainy and much more nutty. And the sauce is great. It has a great flavor, but um, I feel like it's lacking salt. So it isn't my favorite thing today, but it's not bad either. I'm gonna give the falafel, I think, for me only, not for everyone, a 5.5 .5 out of 10, okay? I'm getting full. Next up, let's try the chicken version of the Euro kind of sandwich, right? Of course, I'm gonna taste it without the sauce and then with, okay? Mmm, chicken. It's definitely dark meat. I think it's like chicken thigh. It's simple, but it has a great garlic flavor. It tastes like it's been marinated for sure. And it's very tender and not greasy at all. A lot of times dark meat can be greasy. It's not greasy. We love that. Okay, so chicken's good. Let's try it with the sauce. Um, some white sauce in here. Oh, it's a lot. I'm sorry. Why am I sorry? Add more to me. Live your life. And of course, some hot sauce. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more this time because I loved the flavor of it. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's try it. The red sauce with the white sauce together is literal magic. It's like spicy ranch. Amazing flavor combo. So the chicken's great. It doesn't have as much flavor as the um, Euro meat, but it's great, simple chicken. Gets the job done and it tastes amazing with the toppings and the two sauces. I love it. I'm gonna give the chicken version, I think an eight out of 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm getting full, but I keep eating fries. They're just so good. You know what? I'm gonna bump the fries up to 10 out of 10 because I really can't stop eating them. 
I'm obsessed. Okay. Mm -hmm. More napkin. So we have two items left, guys. We have the chicken platter with that orange rice and the baklava. Let's save the baklava for last because it's, it's a dessert. Why not be proper, right? I'm gonna first taste the rice by itself and then I'll add the sauces and try the whole bowl together, okay? So there's some rice, it's such a gorgeous color. I can't get over it, wow. Mmm. Very light flavor. Tastes like turmeric, but with something else. I can't put my finger on it. But it's very nice. It's a little zesty. Love that. Okay, I'm gonna take off the pita and add the sauces. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm in love with this hot sauce. Hey, yes. Just kind of mix everything just a little bit. Get things going. Let's try it, everything together. Mmm. The rice is perfection. If I get this, Platter again. I'm gonna get the Euro meat because with the Euro meat, I bet it's incredible. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Okay, cool. Calm down for me. Calm down. You know a taste test is good when I get this bloated. <laughs> so I think that the bowl is just perfection. The rice is perfect. Meat's great. Toppings are great. Sauces go great with everything. 10 out of 10. But I think it would be even better with the Euro meat. It would be a gag. A slave. So last but not least, cleanse my power. Let's do the baklava. I think it also has nuts in it, right? I'm just gonna grab it. <laughs> Am I supposed to? Feels very sticky. Okay, okay. <gasps> the bottom won't come apart. Let's just eat it like this then. So that's it. That's the inside. It's very syrupy. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. I'm just eating the extra pieces because if I eat more of the actual pastry, I'm gonna get full to the point of unpleasant. So I literally have to stop. Let's talk about it, guys. So the flavor reminds me of a donut meets a pecan pie. That's the vibe. Iconic. And the texture is so crispy and crunchy and sticky and syrupy. It's almost like a really crunchy guazon, you know, with like nuts in it. It's so unique and so sweet and delicious, but not too sweet. <laughs> that was incredible. The whole taste test was mostly incredible, so I'm so gagged. Halal Guys is gonna be one of my go-to places now, like I'm not even joking. Overall, I'm gonna give Halal Guys a 9.5 out of 10. Super fantastic, so much flavor, we stand. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below. Have you ever had Halal Guys? Um, and if you have, tell me your thoughts. If you haven't, how does the food look to you? Um, subscribe to my channel to me stay out for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh.